Good evening. Tonight we're going to read a book called The Happy P Puppy. This is a fuzzy wuzzy book. <clears throat> it has, still has a little bit of fuzzy on it, but uh, it's still, you know, you can still feel it. And we want to read this book for Noelle. Noelle is a sweet little girl. She's four years old, and uh, we, we just love her. And uh, we want to give her a special hug. So as we read this, give Noelle a hug. Peggy has a fuzzy pet, a pet that's small and new. He's warm and soft and wiggly. A puppy that likes to chew. He chews on daddy's slippers. He chews on mother's hat. He chews on mother Peggy's mittens. He chews on things like that. That puppy likes to chew, and he hides things too. When Peggy can't find her apron, our mother's lost her book. They're sure to find them so, somewhere, someplace, if they look and look and look. In a certain pu puppy's bed, perhaps, or down behind a chair, or underneath the kitchen sink, or in the yard somewhere. That puppy isn't big, but oh my, he can dig. He can dig beneath a pretty shrub. He can dig beneath a tree. Can he dig up Pe Peggy's house? Where Peggy lives? Well, no, but he tries, you see. Peggy often tells him that he simply must be good. He mustn't dig up those great big holes. He must act like a puppy should. But that puppy is, is in mischief from morning until night. Peggy has to watch him and not let him out of sight. Still, Peggy isn't worried. She doesn't fuss or fret, for she knows she's sure that one day He'll be a perfect pet. That, that that puppy will grow up to be a proper pup. You see, he learns at dog school that pups, when they get big, never chew or hide things and hardly ever dig. Noelle, I hope you like that.